designed by computers and built from the stem cells of the African clawed frog, Xenopus lavis, the so-called xenobots took the scientific world by storm last year. Hailed as the first living, programmable organism, the xenobots were repurposed from dead cells and assembled into an entirely new life form, one that is neither a traditional robot nor a known species of animal. Now, the same U.S. scientists who created the xenobots, have claimed the life forms have found a new way to reproduce in the lab. The xenobots only measure about 0.04 inches across and are a far cry from what people think of when they hear the term robot. But they can move around and work in groups, all on their own, while also surviving for weeks at a time without food. And if a new paper published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences is right, then the life forms have also demonstrated the ability to reproduce in fascinating new ways. According to researchers at the University of Vermont and Tufts University, as well as Harvard University's Wyss Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering, the xenobots have been reproducing in ways never seen before in the animal or plant kingdoms. The whole process is unusual and the researchers said it is reminiscent of something out of the video game Pac-Man. First, the xenobots begin by finding and collecting hundreds of single cells scattered around their petri dish environments. They then assemble baby xenobots inside of their mouths that after a few days become brand new xenobots just like the original. The new copies then go out into the world and repeat the process over and over again. Sam Kriegman, lead author and postdoctoral researcher at Tufts, said, These are frog cells replicating in a way that is very different from how frogs do it. No animal or plant known to science replicates in this way. And according to Joshua Bongard, a computer scientist and robotics expert at the University of Vermont, the xenobots will begin to spontaneously self-replicate, given the right design. Michael Levin, a professor of biology and director of the Allen Discovery Center at Tufts, was completely astounded by the team's findings. Professor Levin now said, This is profound. These cells have the genome of a frog. But, freed from becoming tadpoles, they use their collective intelligence, a plasticity, to do something astounding. However, Professor Levin said the scientists have put them into a novel context and gave them a chance to completely reimagine their multicellularity. Douglas Blackiston, study co-author and senior scientist at Tufts, added, People have thought for quite a long time that we've worked out all the ways that life can reproduce or replicate. But this is something that's never been observed before. Professor Bongard said, We've discovered that there is this previously unknown space within organisms, or living systems, and it's a vast space. How do we then go about exploring that space? We found xenobots that walk. We found xenobots that swim. And now, in this study, we've found xenobots that kinematically replicate. What else is out there?